hi guys welcome back to my channel happy happy new years and um, thank you so much for joining me again um, I took a bit of a break at the beginning of 2024 just to kind of get things situated on this channel and um, you know just to spend some time with families and work commitments and everything else but I am back in the full swing of things um, I've got some exciting news on this new um, on this video today. Um, in 2024, uh, one of my goal is really to trap my finances uh, in a more specific way, and one of the ways that I've decided that I'm going to be doing that is by using um, uh, Excel tools that I've created uh, to track my finances in 2024. Uh, in thinking about this, I thought, you know, a lot of people are probably going to be wanting to do the same thing. Um, so as a result, I've decided to create a suite of new products, um, uh, financial tools and templates that you guys can access. Um, I have left, I will leave a link down in my comment section below um, so that you can gain access to all those tools. Um, there are some that you will need to um, enter your email to be able to access um, on that website but I did leave a link to some that you can access without um, without um, providing any information so before we go on um, let me show you what the templates will look like and sort of what my uh, strategies and ideas are with this particular templates um, as I begin to use them in my financial uh, in my financial um, planning this year so it's called financial mastery planner 2024 as you can see and I will show you a few of the features uh, of this particular one um, in this one, you can see here that at the beginning there's income and it goes from January to uh, December 2024. Um, so you can put your full income, part-time income, freelance, gig, uh, rental income, investment, um, side businesses, and so on and so forth. You can add to it. Um, one of the things I really wanted to do with this product is that I wanted to, I want you to be able to customize it to meet the needs um, uh, of your own personal financial goals. Um, I didn't want it to be something that's constricting um, to my own way of doing things. So I made it such a basic template that you can really customize to meet your own needs. Um, so that would be the first page where you would enter your income and all the information's there. The next page basically goes on to um, list all your expenses, um, all the expenses that you would have on a monthly basis, like rent, mortgage, utilities, groceries, health, insurance, transportation, entertainment, debt, personal care, savings, and so on and so forth. So you would list them here. And that way you can keep track of the categories that you've created. And then on the next page, um, on the next page you can um, really track your finances in a more sustainable way. Um, you can see here for me personally, I want to be able to, um, uh, you can see here, it goes again from January all the way to December. So you would put how much you spent, you want to spend on your, you think you're going to spend on your rent. You would put it here. Uh, same with utilities, groceries. Um, you'll go, you go through all the estimates before the beginning of the month. Uh, you'll enter all of that information here. And then at the end of the month, you'll actually go back and look at how much you actually spend on each category, right? So you'll actually enter in the actual amount that you spent. So that would be what you would do for this particular template. And that is the gist of this particular one, um, this particular template that I've uh, uh, 
I've shown you here is just for you to be able to track your expenses track your income and see whether or not you're aligning with what you want to spend and what you um what you expect to spend right um that is the goal with this particular template going forward i have also made um a few other templates for other purposes as well um um, let me just show you yes here we have it All right, so here is the other templates that I've also created um, for financial purposes. Um, as you can see here, this one is also um, for tracking your exp um, your contribution uh, for RDSP contribution. I made one for RDSP, one for RRSP, uh, one for TFSA as well. So basically what you'll do for this one is you'll enter the dates that you made the contribution, how much who contributed. It could be yourself, it could be your friends, your family, right? So, um, because RDSP really gave room for other people to be able to make contribution to your um, RDSP going forward. Um, the amount that was contributed, account balance. Right at the end of the day, you want to enter in your account balance, the account balance and notes. Right, you can also add notes. You can add notes at the beginning of the sections and just you know, let's say there's a specific if a specific reason why you've made this contribution, so that you can remember why you've done so. You can um, add a little note on the side section here. Uh, and just use that to track just use that to track your contribution going forward um, so that is the one for RDSP uh, just so you can get a full view of it I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit Oof. I don't know why it's not allowing me to zoom out so you can see it but anyways, if you go on the link that I've provided, um, that I will be providing in the comment section down below, you'll be able to see what this actually looks like. Um, so that is that one as well. Now, there is another one I would like to show you. That is geared towards investments. See. Yeah, all right. So let me show you this one as well. Anyways, so this one is the other products that I've also made. Um, so this one is meant for you to be able to track your contribution to um, your various um, investment accounts. You'll see here it's as account summaries, total contribution, total gains slash losses. Oops. Total total gain slash losses right um, it's got you can have multiple accounts as you can see 
you know one could be for your tfsa the other one could be your R I um rdsb um fhsa so many different accounts that you can use this for and one of the things i really love about this particular template is that you can add you can add the amount of shares that you have in each account and um sort of what you bought with those what you bought with those um uh the amount of shares the type of shares that you do have for example it's got apple microsoft and so on and so forth the amount of shares that you do have the total value of those shares right so you can kind of use this to kind of track your investment as well as you go on um Again, I wanted all these templates to be something that you can customize to, customize to meet your needs um, and just adjust them to, to basically meet your um, ongoing needs. Uh, I'm going to leave them basic like this for my personal needs um, because I think I find them so much more useful and much more effective when I can uh, make tweaks and adjustments as the months and years goes on. Um, so that is um, that is basically it for this products that I've um, made available. Again, to be able to access any of these tools, um, there will be a link down in the comment sections below, uh, linking, connecting you to uh, uh, my website while you're at it i want you to kind of check out my website as well um leave a comment or um suggestions down in the comment section below as to what you like about my website what you want me to continue to do to improve that website as the years goes on um i've just begun to create this website this year and um, i want to continue to improve and make it more effective to meet your needs as the year goes on um, again so i do want to hear what you have to say about this product and um, the website overall thank you so much for watching today and i hope to see you again in my next video